Today we're talking about the new Neonic Paddle, a fully thermoformed paddle for under $100. Unlike the Vatic Prism series, which do have edge foam around the perimeter but aren't fully thermoformed, the Neonic Paddle is a full-on Gen 2 thermoformed powerhouse. Essentially what could be a Rhombus R3 Pulsar for 89 bucks. We've seen some solid paddle releases in the last few months under and around $100, and this one might just take the cake. But before we can make that decision, we have to dive into the specs, the spin numbers, power rankings, and so much more to really decide together if this is a solid paddle. So without further ado, let's dig straight into it. The Neonic comes in at $99, and you can use code SCS Pickleball and get 10 bucks off, taking the price to only $89. I came across the Neonic paddle while doing my usual deep dive online and decided to send off an email to the owner asking what makes this paddle different or stand out for under $100. He got back to me almost immediately, which was really cool to see, and started telling me about his passion to create the best power paddle under 100 bucks. I thought this was really interesting and could definitely feel his passion in the response. He then went on to explain that this paddle has a lot of the same engineering as the best elongated power-oriented paddles in the space at any price. Created with the highest quality Torre T700 raw carbon fiber, the Neonic is utilizing a unibody design along with thermoforming which adds extra power and pop to an already power oriented paddle in shape. Some other very popular Gen 2 thermoform paddles include the Rhombus R3 Pulsar, the Bread and Butter Filth, and the Carbon 1X. But unlike these paddles, which range from $150 to $230, the Neonic comes in under $100. The weight is around 8.1 ounces, the swing weight is 117, the grip length is 5.3 inches, just enough for two-handed backhands if you're that kind of player, and the grip circumference is 4.25 inches. The fact that this is a fully thermoformed unibody paddle designed for power with an elongated shape for 89 bucks is honestly pretty wild. I remember Pickleball Will saying something like, good paddles are getting cheap and cheap paddles are getting good. And that's what we are seeing here for sure. So before we can really decide if this paddle really can compete with the likes of the Carbon 1X, the Filth, or the Pulsar, we have to dive into some numbers. So let's do that right now. The spin for the Neonic comes in at 2023 RPM. This is definitely top tier. At 2023 RPM, this paddle is ripping spin. I could tell when I received it and felt the face, it was going to have some solid spin. It has the same tight weave texture on the face that the Pulsar has. And when a raw carbon fiber face feels a bit smoother to the touch and not not rough, it tends to have more spin in my testing. I actually was pretty blown away by the overall feel of this paddle when unboxing it. It just felt premium. If you had told me this was 180 bucks or really any premium price point, I wouldn't have argued or even raised an eyebrow. So first let's compare the Neonic to the most expensive paddles in the space. We have the Yola Perseus at $249 and coming in at 1796 RPM and the Selkirk Labs 006 at $333 and coming in at 1833 RPM. And now let's analyze the spin numbers in comparison to three of the top thermoformed elongated paddles in the space. We have the Carbon 1X coming in at 1810 RPM and a price point of $230, the R3 Pulsar coming in at 2120 RPM and a price point of $170, and the Bread and Butter Filth coming in at 1923 RPM and a price point of $165. You can usually get any of these paddles uh, around 10% off, but even with a discount code, the Neonic at 89 bucks after discount is literally half the price, if not one third of the price of the competition, and is competing really well in the spin category. Out of the Carbon series, the feel of the Neonic reminds me of a Carbon 3X. As far as its direct translation goes, I would say it feels almost exactly like the Rhombus R3 Pulsar. It doesn't feel overly firm or off-puttingly rigid off the face like some elongated paddles do, but boy does it have some power to it. Under $100, the only paddle that really competes with the Neonic would be like a Hudef Viva Pro. The Hudef feels honestly way cheaper and has some manufacturing and breakage issues though, so, and it's also not using uh, premium materials like Torre Carbon carbon fiber. I did just receive the Hudef Viva Pro Gen 2, so stay tuned for that review. So drives with the Neonic felt super aggressive, and I'm able to rip serves just as hard as any other thermoform paddle at any price point. So for power ranking, I gave the Neonic a 9.2 out of 10 for power and an 8.3 for pop. To compare that to the top ranked paddles in this category, I have the Carbon 1X at 9.5 for power and 8.3 for pop, and I have the Valer Mach 1 Forza at 9.5 for power and 8 for pop, and because it reminds me so much of the R3 Pulsar, let's compare those numbers as well. 
The R3 Pulsar comes in at 9 for power and 7.6 for pop, so the Neonic has a bit more pop for aggressive hand battle wins and just the slightest bit more power, but off the face they feel extremely similar. And for reference, I have the $249 Yola Perseus at 7.8 for power and 7.4 for pop, so you can see for $89 after discount, the Neonic is a pretty crazy bang for the buck. I'm actually gonna have to go back and change the title for my other top rank paddles under $100 because this one just kind of takes the cake. A fully thermoformed Gen 2 paddle with Torre T700 raw carbon fiber and the feel of a Rhombus Pulsar or a Carbon 3X for $89. Bucks. I honestly kind of wish I had some cons for the Neonic, but given the price point, I just can't really come up with anything. I mean, if you picked up a paddle for $89 bucks and it felt the same as a Rhombus Pulsar or a Carbon 3X, what cons could you really come up with? I don't want my videos to seem like they're always just glowing reviews, but you know, I, I have had paddles that I don't enjoy, like the Yola Perseus, the Vatic Pro Alchemy, and to be honest, I don't really care for the 13mm Carbons or even the 13mm Forza, as I feel like they are a bit too rigid and punishing on off-center shots, even though I absolutely love the 16mm version of the Forza. The whole goal of this channel is to share the nuances and the aspects of paddles that can boost your personal game. Anyways, enough rambling, let's talk about the sweet spot on the Neonic. It's an elongated paddle, so it will have a bit of a tighter or less forgiving sweet spot than a standard shape paddle. But as far as elongated power oriented paddles go, again, this feels almost exactly like a Carbon 3X or a Rhombus R3 Pulsar. So the sweet spot is really solid. Off-center shots don't feel too rigid or dead and off-center drives and serves still maintain their line and their aggressive nature. Again, just super impressed with this paddle for the price. So for sweet spot rating, I gave the Neonic a solid 8.5 out of 10, which for an elongated paddle is really solid. To compare that again to some of the most expensive paddles in the space, we have the Yola Perseus at a sweet spot ranking of 6.9 out of 10 and the 006 at a sweet spot ranking of 7.2 out of 10. And to compare that to the Carbon 1X at 8.2, the Rhombus R3 Pulsar at 8.9 and the Bread and Butter Filth at 8.3, you can see it's right in line with the best thermoformed elongated paddles available in this category. As far as control goes for the Neonic, it is a more power oriented paddle being an elongated shape. So for control, I gave it a solid 8.6 out of 10. I really felt like dinking with this paddle is solid. That less rigid, more plush nature it has relative to a Pulsar gives it a bit more touch than some other elongated paddles in the control category, which is nice to see. To compare that again to the most expensive paddles in the space, we have the $249 Perseus at 7.4 out of 10 and the $333 Selkirk 006 at 7.3 for control. And to compare that directly to the Carbon 1X at 7.5, the Rhombus R3 Pulsar at 8.6, and the bread and butter filth at eight, you can see it's again right in line with the top performing elongated thermoformed paddles in the space for control. If you're the type of person who wants a thermoformed elongated power oriented paddle for a budget price, I just can't imagine there's a paddle out there right now that feels much better than this one. Also, if you're wondering how this compares to the Vatic Prism V7, which is also under $100, the Neonic has a touch lower swing weight, more power, more pop, and not to mention it's fully thermoformed and is utilizing the highest quality Torre T700 raw carbon fiber. It also has more spin. I just don't think there's anything in the space right now that really even comes close to this for the price. If you wanna see my top five control paddles for 2023, click here, have a freaking wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.